This is by far the best way to control your live streams. Any professional streamer uses something like this. And this is a so-called Stream Deck. But this one is homemade and personalized with an Arduino Micro, a TFT display, push buttons, some RGB LEDs and a keyboard library from the Arduino. You can use this with any streaming software such as Twitch, OBS Studio, XSplit and so on. Just press a button and you can change the scene, you can disable the microphone or the webcam, add music to your live stream, you can change to be right back and so on, anything that you want. The deck has 7 buttons on the display, but if you press the next button, you can change to a different template with 7 more buttons. And on the side we have 2 more real push buttons and 3 more buttons below the display. And to give it a cooler look I've also placed some RGB LEDs inside and made them to fade some rainbow colors. And in the code you can change which key you want to send to the PC and for the connection it uses a USB cable so you could connect it to any device. So let me show you what you need, give you the Arduino code, the TFT file for the display and the 3D files for the case so you could make your own. So guys, let's get started. PCBWay is creating high quality PCBs for prototyping and for very low cost, so everyone could use their services. So don't hesitate and for only $5, order your PCBs in just a couple of minutes and improve your projects. I've used their services for years and the PCBs are just as I wanted them to be. The finished surface is perfect. The solder mask as well. The size, the vias and the markings are precise. You can select all sorts of settings, starting from the thickness and the color up to the gold finish for the better conductivity, the copper thickness for more current and other specific settings. So check PCBWay.com for PCBs and other services, such as CNC metal engraving, 3D printing services and mold injected parts so you could make the entire project at the same time. So if you have a good project, why not make it perfect using PCBWay? What's up my friends, welcome back. To make this project we need a few components, starting with an Arduino Micro. It can be the Arduino Uno or the Nano, because the keyboard library is compatible with the Arduino Micro or Leonardo, which are using the Atmega 32U4 microcontroller. Together with that we also need an Xtion display. In my case I will be using the 3.2 inches model. But here's a great idea. You could pay a little bit more and have the huge Nextion display. I've used it on a previous video and it could have a lot more buttons. Have in mind that a commercial stream deck with only 32 buttons is somewhere around 250 euros. But the 10 inches Nextion display will cost you around 120 euros. And it could have somewhere around 80 buttons or even more if you make them 80 by 80 pixels. 5 more dollars for the Arduino and you get a huge stream deck for less than $140. Anyway my stream deck will be a bit smaller and together with the display I also add 2 real push buttons like these ones and 3 more buttons like these ones. I also want to add some RGB colors to the deck, so I will use the addressable LED strip like this one together with a separate Arduino Nano. I don't want to overload the Arduino Micro too much so a separate Arduino will be in charge of the RGB colors. And we also need some entry screws and nuts together with the 3D design that I've made for this project. You can download my STL files from below the video and print them up. I've used two parameters, 30% infill and PLA material. We need the main case and the cover together with the logo part. And I've printed this part separately so I could print it with the face downwards. I will also add a buzzer for sound clicks. And together with a micro SD card and the USB cable for the Arduino, this is all that we need to make this project. So first, let's prepare the TFT display. So get the screen and a micro SD card formatted to FAT32. Download from below this TFT file. 
then copy the file to the empty SD card. Insert the card into the next end display. Then you power it up and you will see how the new TFT file is uploaded to the screen. When you get 100% completed, power off the screen. Remove the SD card and power back the display and you will get my design. As you can see we have 7 buttons on this page and if you click next, you get a different design. Actually like this, you could add as many pages as you want. So check my next gen editor video below and you will see how easy it is to create a TFT file for this type of display. In the next gen platform as you can see, each button will send a different number from 0 to 13 and later we read that with the Arduino. So now we have the screen. So having in mind that this is the connection schematic for the project, let's start assembling everything. I add a screen to the cover 3D printed part using M3 screws and nuts. And then I've printed some icons with my printer on white paper. I glue those to the big buttons. On top I add a clear coat of transparent nail polish. And just like that we have some personalized buttons. So now I add the big buttons to the cover as well. And then I also screen place the small push buttons. I solder wires to all the buttons as in the schematic. The Arduino Micro will later go here inside of the case. So make sure that you can connect the USB cable. Finally I solder all the wires to the Arduino. From the screen, from the push buttons and for the buzzer. So now the Arduino Micro has all the connections and two wires for 5 volts and ground to supply the other Arduino. So on the other side I prepare the Arduino Nano with the RGB strip. I only use 7 LEDs so connect them to the Arduino 5 volts pin to ground and a digital pin. And then we upload this code and this will create the rainbow colors as you can see. Now all we have to do is to connect this second Arduino to 5 volts and ground from the other Arduino. And now we can close the case with everything inside. But first I add a white diffuser in front of the logo 3D printed part. Because like that the RGB colors will look better. I glue the RGB strip inside on the bottom part. And then I glue the logo 3D printed part. I also secure in place the Arduino with some hot glue. And then I fit all the wires inside and close the case using some small screws. And the deck case is ready. So connect the USB cable and we are ready for the main code. First import the keyboard library. And this will mimic a real keyboard and send different keys using the function press, release or write. A normal PC keyboard could have the keys from F1 up to F12 usually. But virtually we have keys up to F24 and we could also use those. And we do that so we won't interfere with the other keys. So in the Arduino code I create a serial communication with the next end display. When I receive a zero meaning that the first button was pressed, I send through the USB connection the F13 key using the keyboard library. And I do the same for the other numbers. Also when I detect that one of the real push buttons was pressed, I also send a different key from F20 to F24. And that's it. And by the way for me the basic Arduino micro board didn't work to upload the code. The PC would not recognize the board anymore. So I've made a guide on my website on how to install the SparkFun Pro micro boards and how to burn the SparkFun bootloader in case that you have the same problem. And once you do that, select the Pro micro board from the boards tab. Then compile and upload the code. And now we have a working stream deck and each button will send a different key to the PC. With the stream deck connected to your PC, we open the streaming platform. In my case I test it with OBS. I go to settings and then to hotkeys. You could place hotkeys for anything. So look, when I press any button on the stream deck, a different key appears on my PC.
So for example, I place this key to change to the be right back scene, this other key for the gameplay scene and so on. Use them however you want. Now save and let's test them. So look, each time I press a different key, I can change the scene without using the mouse or the keyboard. And this will help your live stream a lot. I can also mute the microphone, enable or disable the audio or the webcam, add a different transition and so on. And by the way, since we already have an Arduino, we could also use it to control real life lights, some sounds and so on. Because some streamers will have some fire and lights behind them, so with a simple push of a button, you could control the lights behind you for example. Feel free to improve this project however you want. Also comment below if you want me to make the huge stream deck using the big Nextian display and share it with you. Have in mind that in the Arduino code, you could change the keys to any other that you want, but make sure they won't interfere with the other keys from your keyboard, otherwise that might result into some problems. Also in the Arduino code, you could send multiple keys at the same time, such as Ctrl F13 for example. And for that instead of using keyboard.write, we use the keyboard.press. We send the key, then another, and then another if you want, and finally we add the keyboard.release all. And that will send two or three keys at the same time. You can play around with these options. So guys, I hope that you like this project and that you find it useful. If you have learned something new, consider giving me a like or comment below. Thanks again and see you later guys. So guys, did you like this video? I hope so. Okay, so look, I would really like to thank you to all of you for the support, especially for those who are supporting me on Patreon because that's a really nice thing to do. And if you can't support me on Patreon, well, all you can do is to just like my videos or comment below in order to get more activity on YouTube, that will really help me. And if not, you have all my links below for my shop, for my website, if you want to buy my t-shirts and so on. So thanks again and see you in the next video.